In this video, we'll discuss how to write a professional looking construction proposal that is more than a single page document. A well designed and professional looking proposal demonstrates your commitment to quality and detail and it creates a positive impression of your business and enhances your credibility with potential clients. We'll show you how you can customize this proposal template for your own company. In the competitive construction industry, a professional proposal can help you stand out from the competition. There are projects that require the contractor to submit a proposal that includes information on their proposed project team and past projects completed. Having a proposal template that includes some of these requirements will make it quick and easy to customize for any future projects. We'll cover the 11 key pages in this proposal that is available in a link in the video description below. The cover page. The cover page should provide the reader with a quick overview of what they can expect from reading further. This would include the following. The name of the project. This is important because there are often many projects going on at the same time. The client's company name and contact. This would be the person receiving the construction proposal your company name and contact information. This would be the person who the proposal is submitted on behalf of. Your company logo. The date of the proposal. You could also include any internal proposal tracking numbers for quick reference or for connection with a CRM program. Table of contents. This is a list of all the sections and subsections with their respective page numbers for easy navigation. Just click on any of these titles and it will jump to that section. Executive Summary Give an overview of the project with a brief description of the scope of work. In another section, we'll provide our full scope of work. Identify the key objectives of the project as expressed by the RFP or owner. This could be timely completion, quality and safety, cost management, client satisfaction, sustainability and environmental considerations, innovations, or long-term durability and maintainability. This communicates to the proposal recipient that you heard their concerns. Identify your company's expertise and years in business. If you're a new startup, then leave this portion out and highlight the experience of your team. Key proposal highlights. You can customize this section to meet the specific concerns of the project. This covers a description of what will be included in your detailed scope of work, including major tasks, milestones, and deliverables. There is a quality assurance statement ensuring that you'll be providing the highest quality workmanship and materials along with best practices and quality control measures. There is a statement on timely completion and the acknowledgement of the importance of completing the project on time and that you have the experienced project management team to do so. There is a statement on safety and compliance. Safety is always a concern for owners and contractors, so reiterating your commitment to safety is a good reminder that you focus on safety and complying with building and safety regulations. There are statements on cost control, client collaboration, and your commitment to excellence. Just personalize the proposal with your company name and the name of the person writing the proposal. Scope of work section. The next section provides a detailed scope of work. Start by inserting the project name and a brief description of the project including the location. The following scope of work can be customized for any trade. Just enter the scope of work that you are bidding on and describe the main items of work. Keep the first description to identify the documentation that you are bidding on. This provides a reference for which set of documents and the dates of those documents that your proposal is based on. Then identify all the major portions of your scope of work. This informs the proposal recipient that you understand the specific project requirements. Clarifications. In the clarifications section, it's important to identify areas of the scope that may be confusing. Here you can clarify your interpretation or understanding of the documents and how you have priced your proposal based on these clarifications. 
Listed are some areas that you might review for clarification purposes, but edit this section in all portions of this proposal for your project specifics. Proposal exclusions. Just like the clarifications, seek to bring everyone to the same understanding of what is being proposed, the exclusions make it clear on what is not included in your proposal. In this section, it's important that you identify those areas of the construction documents that assign you scope of work that you are not including. When in doubt, be sure to exclude it, but don't go overboard and list everything here. Just those items that might be attributed to your scope of work that you want to make clear that you're not providing any cost for. Project team. Some requests for proposals, RFPs, or requests for qualifications, RFQs, require that you identify the project team that will be assigned to the project bidding. You can easily insert the photo of your team in these placeholders, or you can submit your proposal without photos and just the descriptions of your team members. List the key team members and a little about their background and expertise. References and past projects. Along with the project team, some projects require that you submit references for past projects. Here you can easily insert your own project photos and descriptions or once again just provide a description. Terms and conditions. It's important that you insert your standard terms and conditions here so that they become part of the contract. Make sure to customize this section to fit your company's requirements. We've listed some common terms and conditions for your reference but be sure to make them fit your needs. Pricing and signatures. The last page will contain the pricing and signatures. Customize this page with the name of the company you're submitting your proposal to and your own information. Header and footer section. The header contains the project information so that every page of your proposal is identified as to which project it is attached to, including the date and project tracking number for internal purposes. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.